we won the land. Thank you. are not going to vote for us because we want the land, so be it. Let it be. We are not going to compromise principle for political expediency. We're not going to do that. We mean, we mean what we're saying. We are true to the demand of the land, and whatever pain that comes with demanding our land, let it be. Let that be. We're not going to change the struggle for the land in Zimbabwe was not started by President Mugabe. The people themselves attacked the land. President Mugabe at the beginning sent the people to Shambok, sent the soldiers to Shambok those people. He had two options, to join the people or to lock them up. He, he decided to join the people. So the struggle of the land is not a struggle of the elite. It's a struggle of our people. So we're not going to be threatened and we are told by our enemies that no, these ones want you to be like Zimbabwe, and we also buy into that. We don't want South Africa to be like Zimbabwe. We are not going to beat up white people in the in the in the in the farms and and cut their hands and all sorts of things. We are going to engage in a radical program which will make them understand that they must surrender the land, and they don't have to leave. <laughs> God, too much land to share. We can share this land with them. And, uh, and uh, anyone who's going to resist that will meet the determination of our people. So whoever has got a problem with that must go and confront our people. You know, when you advocate for radical positions, you must never allow social media to influence your thinking especially when you exist in a capitalist society like South Africa, where this media and social networks are controlled by those who have access to the means of production. Our people don't have access to Facebook. Our people don't have access to uh, Twitter. If they did, they would have voted otherwise. They would have told you why it's important to lead the land. So, we are unapologetic about that, and uh, we can be criticized anyhow. We mean it when we say we need our land, and we don't want to collapse the economy. We want to strengthen this economy by redistributing the means of production to everybody, but also changing the property ownership in South Africa. Those who say we want to take you uh, to Zimbabwe, what have they done to take you out of poverty? They have not done anything. The property, the property ownership in this country remains the same way it was during apartheid. The land, they have done nothing with the land. They said they were going to give us 30% of the land in 2014. Only 8%, between 5 and 8% has been transferred to the people in 20 years. What it means is that Every 20 years, we transfer 8% or so. To transfer 100% of the land to rightful owners, it will take us 300 years. If we go with this pace, Mantashi wants us to go with it. has got no say in what the EFF does. Mm. It's none of his business. Mm. He must concentrate on that falling organization. <laughs> the, the, the organization.